What's happening, guys? This is Hyper Paradox, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. I think it's time that we go search for the Fearsome Five here in Jade Jungle. Now, fair warning, this area has some pretty nasty enemies waiting in the wings for you. I think I demonstrated this before. That's a heart plant. It gives out hearts, but this one is a little bit different. That's not a heart plant, that's a hurt plant. Huh. Ah, don't you just love similar sounding words? Anyway, let's see what Goombario has to say. This is a hurt plant. Hurt plants pretend to be heart plants, which give you a heart when you touch them. Max HP 8, attack power 2, defense power 0. If a hurt plant bites you, you'll be poisoned. Then your HP will slowly fall with each turn. We better beat him as quickly as possible. Unless you can frequently restore your HP, you'll find yourself in trouble pretty fast. Yeah, the problem is a lot of enemies in this area poison you. Case in point. No matter, I can still take them out with the... Uh... Okay, actually I forgot. I have uh, Power Smash on, not Power Jump. Alright. Let's finish you off with a Power Smash. I switched up my badges a little bit to uh, better prepare myself for Jade Jungle. Yeah, the bad news is you really don't get that much experience from uh, fighting hurt plants. Uh, this is a symbol flower, you jump in it, and it presses you flatter than a pancake. Uh, no real purpose, honestly. So what we want to do is we want to head to the right. Get back here this instant, you little ingrates! Hmm, someone woke up cranky. Hey, you, down there, look up here if you hear me. We actually saw this character earlier. This is Sushi, by the way. This is so embarrassing. I'm stuck in this tree. Can you help me out somehow? We can certainly help her out. You just have to hit the tree a few times. Come on now, try harder. A fish in a tree? How could that be? And if you know where that's from, then you deserve a cookie. Oh, phew, I'm saved. I feel like one big ache. Thanks for getting me out of that tree. I think I'll be okay now. Oh, oh, those little... I was chasing those naughty little Yoshi boys and I fell into their trap. Don't they know how dangerous it is to go into the jungle? I have to find them before they get in too deep. As for you, you better get back to the village too. It's dangerous out here. Why on earth did you come into the jungle anyway? And by opening his mouth, people can understand him. Well, so, you're looking for those little rascals as well. Then, I don't see why we don't just look for them together. They really don't understand the dangers of the jungle, so we have to find them soon. Oh my, how impolite. I haven't even asked your name. What is it, pray tell? Mario, huh? Hmm, well, I've never heard of you before. You must be from far away or something. Where's the love? Enjoy lovely Lava Lava Island. That's what I usually say to a visitor anyway. But first, could you help me find these boys? And we have our new party member, Sushi! Yay! Press down C on platforms at the water's edge to ride her across the water. If you press down C again while riding her, she'll dive deep for a short time. While in battle, she can jump attack with belly flop or douse enemies with her squirt ability. So Sushi can, is a pretty helpful partner. As the tutorial just said, whenever you stand on a platform on the water's edge, you can ride Sushi on the water and dive. And right off the bat, we'll want to go to uh, this platform over here because there's a star piece. But another thing that's on, if you hit this tree, out pops a letter. 
a letter to Rusty and Toad Town. We'll have to take care of that eventually. Okay, now there is a bubble over there, but there's nothing we can do about him for now. He won't give us a seed until we have uh, finished the chapter. So nothing we can do in this area except head back the way we came. Now, at first glance, uh, finding the Yoshi kids can be a little tricky, but if you do it in a proper sequence, it doesn't take that much time at all and you won't get lost. Alright, so we're going to want to head to that center island where the spear guy is. And I have a feeling we're going to have to fight him. I'm usually right. Well, at least this gives us the chance to uh, demonstrate what Sushi can do in battle. Uh, here's her default attack, Belly Flop. Push the control stick to the left and release when the star appears. And obviously it won't work on, uh, spiked enemies. Or speared enemies in this case. Alright, nice. I had to take off damage dodge because I wanted quick change instead. And here's the other, uh, attack, Squirt. This one can actually be a little bit tricky if you don't know how to do it. You have to hold A for as long as possible and get it to as close to the other end as possible. Uh, if you hold it down too long, though, you'll overload it and the meter will fall back to the left. So you'll have to start again. But if you do it right, as you saw when I damaged the spear guy, it is quite damaging. Quite damaging. So inside this batch block is... Power Quake greatly damages all enemies on the ground or ceiling. So, like Power Smash and the fact that it's a hammer attack, except it hits all enemies. Uh, there is a Yoshi kid up there. He's actually the last one we're going to get. So we want to um, swim to the left right over here in this area. And sometimes there will be uh, coins, so you can dive and pick those up. Now we want to dock right here and fight another spear guy. Okay, now that he's taken care of, just a coin in that tree, but more importantly, there is a super block and a hurt plant over there, but we don't want that. We want this thing, yay! And since we really don't have much of a choice, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade Sushi. She's going to learn Water Block. I'm going to uh, be sure and um, demonstrate that. Honestly, it's very situational. Not really that good of a move, but not completely useless either. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to get back in the water and dock at this platform. And as you can probably tell by the crying, there is a Yoshi kid. All right, clear the grass. Now, that grass looks a little suspicious. Okay, I'm not fooling anyone. Yes, that's an enemy. So I'm gonna have a uh, Goombario help me with this one. Oh geez, there are four of them, wow. Okay, Goombario? This is an ambush. Get it? Ambush? Ambush? Ambushes pretend to be bushes and wait for unwary prey. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. Their bites are sometimes poisonous, so be careful. If you get poisoned, your HP will gradually fall. Your situation could become critical unless you restore your HP as soon as possible. Let's clear them out quickly, okay? Use your most powerful attack, why don't you? How, many, how much HP do I have left? 18. Okay, I think I know what I can do. I am actually going to use a Star Storm. Now, this won't take them out. In fact, it'll leave them with only one HP, but that's what I want. See? Now they're going to self-destruct. And the poison is going to wear off after the battle. Man, I'm at 10 HP already? I hope I remembered to pack some healing items. Oh 
Okay, two hearts, that's not bad, but do I have any healing items? Huh, five HP and five... Okay, ten HP. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use my apple pie. That'll heal five HP and fifteen FP. So if you check this patch of grass... There is our first Yoshi kid! Hey! That was so scary! We were playing hide and seek and there was this weird plant and it trapped me here! Sushi was right! We should have just stayed inside the village to play hide and seek! We should have obeyed her! Thanks for coming to get me! I'm going home now! Ah! You boys and your rough housing! Always disobeying orders! You run out and then you get tired and come back in. Anyway, this is a trumpet plant. Sometimes when you check it, a coin will pop out. Alright, now we could head over to the left there. But instead, what we're going to do is we're going to get back on sushi and go north. There's another ambush there. It's kind of pointless to fight uh, hurt plants and ambushes. They really won't give you all that much experience. Okay. Now, first of all, that thing, if you jump in it, it will steal your HP, so don't do it. All right. Um, first things first. We are going to sail and sail and sail to the left because there is a Yoshi kid somewhere in this area. But before we do that, we want to dive down and grab that star piece. All right, now that we've docked on Jade Jungle, we'll hit the log, and miraculously, there's a path. Yay, how nice. Hi there, little Yoshi kid. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sniff, sniff. We were playing hide and seek. I had to be it, but I couldn't find anyone at all. I was wandering around and then I got lost. You were right, Sushi. The jungle's really scary. Thanks for coming all the way out here to look for me. I'll be a good boy from now on and listen to you. Mario, will you be it for hide and seek instead of me? I'm going home now. Two down, three to go. I wonder what happens if you hit this, uh, tree. Ouchie! Oh, Ouch! Oh! Me and my big fat mouth. Uh, speaking of which, I have an important announcement to make. I am going to be competing in the Mario Olympics, which is gonna be good. I don't know how many games I can compete in, but I'll give it my best shot. I'm, uh... It's, uh, gonna be a very exciting event, and I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of new people. Alright, so in this, uh, little tornado flower, make sure you spin dash while you're in it. Check. Oh dear, I might regret that. Okay, maybe I won't. Hey, actually, this isn't a bad setup at all. Because once I get rid of the spear guy, the jungle fuzzies won't be able to hurt me because I'm electrified. All right, one down, two to go. Yeah, I'm gonna be competing in the Mario Olympics. It's uh, it's an event hosted by Power to Mario. Um, I'm going to post a link in the uh, description of this video if you guys want to check him out. He's got some really really good content on his uh, on his channel. In fact, I think he used to be a member of the old Crystal Star Studios channel. They did a Let's Play of... There were seven of them, and they did a Let's Play of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I remember watching it several years ago. It was really, really good. I ought to watch it again, because who knows? I might Let's Play Thousand Year Door sometime. And wow, it's a lot of hearts, flowers, and coins. Anyway, check this grass, and in it is a pipe. And... Uh, Scary! 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 Okay, maybe it's not so scary after all. But I'll tell you what is there! Yoshi Kid number three! There was this flower that spun around and I thought it was way cool, so I got on it! 
And then I spun around and around, and then I was up in the air and flying, and then I ended up here. I didn't know how I got here. It was so dark and scary, and I couldn't find a way out. Thanks for coming to get me out of here. I can see how to get out now, so I'm going straight home. Alright, uh, shouldn't be that much longer before we find the other two, because I do believe they are close by. So, uh, once again, we're going to get sushi out. Like I said, Jade Jungle at first, you might get lost in it, but once you know the path, it's very, very simple. Uh, the main problem are the enemies. Like, the ambushes and the hurt plants can poison you, and the spear guys can call in, and the spear guys and uh, jungle fuzzies, excuse me, can call in for backup. There's a fright jar if you need it. Um, I don't really need it actually. Okay, so here we are in another area of the jungle. Ah, why must you torture me so, game? I'm gonna take care of you first. You know, maybe I shouldn't have done that. In fact, now's a good time to demonstrate Sushi's uh, water block. Create a cube of water to boost Mario's defense briefly. Works exactly the same as uh, Watt's um, super attack. In fact, it's the opposite. Instead of raising attack, it raises defense. Oh, you jerk! Why did you do that? Well, at least you're gone. The uh, more uh, circles you get, the longer the power-up lasts. Unfortunately, it's very, very situational. And why did I do that? It would be a lot better if they, uh, if it raised your defense higher. And now the spear guy has become a shy guy. The only time you will see shy guys outside of shy guy's toy box. And like I said, I am sick of fighting shy guys. I fought them plenty in the last chapter. Oh, cool! I wasn't paying attention. We gotta level up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and level up my BP. Well, at least I'll have enough money to buy some badges from Ralph's. Okay, one more log, and notice that raven statue in the background. We're not going to be able to get there. That's a hurt plant, by the way. And that's a fuzzy! Ugh. I hate fuzzies. Fuzzies are annoying. Okay, so what we want to do is, um... Well, actually, I forget what's over there. Oh, right, I remember. <laughs> the fourth Yoshi kid. <laughs> Sorry, get a little confused there. And he has seen better days. Let's put it that way. Now, unfortunately, we can't get a first attack on these guys. Okay, we have, I guess, a mini-boss, since the mini-boss music is playing. Haven't seen these uh, enemies yet. Goombario, if you please. They are annoying, though. Trust me. This is a putrid piranha. Max HP 12, attack power 3, defense power 0. Putrid piranhas sometimes bite, but the truly scary thing is their nasty, poisonous breath. The power of their bad breath is 2, but your HP will begin to fall if you get poisoned. You should try to recover as quickly as possible if you get poisoned. So not only can they poison you, but they also have really high HP, which is why I'm going to be doing a power smash on them. Now the good news is that unlike piranha plants, their uh, mouths aren't pointing upward so you can jump on them. Yeah, but the uh, putrid piranhas are definitely not something to be underestimated. There we go. One down. Fortunately, I can take them out next turn. Oh, cool! I actually guarded against the attack. I think in, um, I think in, uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, 
there were enemies, there are some enemies that pierce your defense. So even if you have defend plus badges, they will bypass that defense upgrade. I know what can do that in, uh, I know what can do that in this game. I'm not sure if enemies can. Don't count me on that. And here's the fourth one. Whoa, wah! Are they all gone? I thought those things were going to eat me right up. Thanks for saving me, Mario. I'll do what you grown-ups tell me to do from now on. I don't even want to do bad things anymore. I just want to be a good boy. I'm going home now. Bye! Alright, we have four Yoshi kids that are rescued, which means there's only one left, and we have seen him. You are not a Yoshi kid! I don't know what you're doing here. No matter, you can be dealt with. One, two, three... Never mind. Let's just take you out. There we go. And you'd think a spear would be very easy to guard against, but I have not been able to do it properly. Okay. Let's, uh, take you out now. Later, Gator! And we really have nothing to worry about since you can't touch us in the first place. There we go! Hopefully that'll be the last thing we fight. Okay, now that that jungle fuzzy has been dealt with, we uh, want to get back on sushi. And head to this platform right over here. So we go down, and check it out, we're on the other side, and we can hear some snoring. Let's go whack! Never mind. It would appear that I am a complete and total ignoramus. There we go. Especially since I said hopefully that was the last thing they fight. Ah, I really have to start keeping my mouth shut. No matter. One more hammer attack and you, sir, will be finished. There we go. Two more star points for good measure. Never hurt anybody. Okay. The tree that you actually want to strike is this one. Because he is up in that tree and apparently my eyes don't work properly. Ah, morning! Hey, it's Mario! What's the matter with you? You were looking for me? Oh, sushi too? We were playing hide-and-seek, and I got real sleepy. I figured I'd take a nap here. There's nothing to worry about. The jungle's not so bad. I am starting to get a little bit lonely, though, so maybe I ought to head back home. Bye now! And yay! We found all five of them! Now, getting back is actually not as difficult as you think. If you head down here and hit this log... I said if you hit this log, thank you very much, we have now created a shortcut. So going back here, we are back in the village. Hooray! Let's talk to you. Everyone has finally calmed down since you found the kids. Thank you, thank you. Children are treasured by everyone in the village. That reminds me. The village leader wishes to thank you. You should go over to see him. Now, the village leader is over on the beach. In the, in the island, right over here. There he is. Let's go talk to the village elder. Mario, I must thank you. You have saved the children of the village. I feel that no expression of our gratitude could be enough. You truly are a hero. We deeply appreciate your valor. At least I can do this. You still wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, don't you? I have remembered a good way to reach the volcano. Please come this way. Huh? I thought it was... 
somewhere around here. Oh, yes, I found it. Here it is. Take it, please. And he gives us the Jade Raven. The Jade statue of a raven that Yoshi's Village leader gave you. Whenever events beyond our control occur on this island, we ask the help of Raphael the Raven, the island's master. If anyone can help you reach the volcano, it's definitely Raphael the Raven. He lives in the depths of this island. If you place that Jade Raven into the statue of Raphael, the way into the depths of the jungle will appear. I haven't been to see Raphael since I was but a young Yoshi. I remember that it was incredibly difficult to find him because the jungle's trees and shrubs covered the way. I'm sure you'll find the path. May all your wishes come true. Wait just one minute. You must have one heck of a story behind you, Mario. Why in the world would you want why in the world would you want to go to Mount Lava Lava? It's very hot and very dangerous in the volcano. If you aren't extremely careful and lucky, you'll be roasted to a golden brown. This coming from a fish. But you don't care. You guys are going there anyway. I do not approve of this. Uh-huh. Oh, oh! You're going to the volcano because you want to save the princess from some bad guys? What? A touching story. Romantic stories like that just touch a soft spot in this heart of mine. That does it. I can't let you go alone. I, Sushi, will be by your side until the end. You needn't worry, Mario. I love taking care of others. If you plan on getting through this jungle, you need me anyway. Come, Mario. That volcano isn't getting any cooler. Funny thing is, Cooper said the exact same thing when we met him. But we are going to um, end the video here, I think. So, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we are going to go further into Jade Jungle and see if we can find Raphael the Raven, who, if the village elder says is right, can lead us into Mount Lava Lava. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.